So hello everyone. This is Ananya Bish, and I am currently a second year student at IIT Kanpur, pursuing BTech in Civil Engineering. And today we have with us Anurag Jain, and he has recently graduated from IIT Dhanbad with a BTech degree in Petroleum Engineering. So over to you, Anurag. Could you like introduce yourself a bit and tell us about what you are uh, doing? Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, so my name is Anurag Jain. I recently graduated from IIT Dhanbad, as Ananya mentioned. <laughs> I have a bachelor in petroleum engineering, and I am currently working with KN Oil and Gas, which is a Vedanta company. And uh, currently, I am a GET, and yeah, that's it. Okay, so like um, here goes my first question to you. So like, what is petroleum engineering, and like, what do petroleum engineers actually do? Like, could you explain it in layman's language to a student who might be watching? Yeah. Okay, so. basically what petroleum engineers do in very simple terms right. we extract crude oil hmm. but uh, extracting crude oil is not so easy so right. we have been divided into three parts basically uh sabse zyada you know abhi tak kya sab logo ki understanding hoti hai ki jaise ki crude अर्थ के अंदर बस ऐसी एक टब की तरह उसके अंदर फिल्ड है बट इट्स नॉट दैट इट्स बिटवीन ट्रैप्ड बिटवीन रॉक पार्टिकल्स सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज फर्स्ट वी एनालाइज द रॉक प्रॉपर्टीज देन वी मॉडल द यू नो क्रूड व्हिच इज प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द अर्थ देन वी ड्रिल वेल्स लाइक बोर वेल्स इन योर हाउसेस then we apply different methods to lift that oil to the surface and send it to the refinery so they can proceed it further uh, and sell it to you like as your your daily products like right. uh, hmm. petroleum and diesel and all that products right right so like i think that was a good explanation to someone who doesn't know as much about it so like my next question next question is like uh, how is petroleum engineering as a career in your point of view and like uh, is this major still worthy worthy to choose today because like in about 10 years down the lane um, the uh, shift is like seen towards ev and sustainable energy so like what's your take on this okay so i particularly from my point of view i hmm. liked petroleum engineering right. from the very first year of my college life uh, even i was offered to change my branch from petroleum engineering at uh, after my first year but i right. didn't change it uh so uh, like uh, 10 years down the lane it will not be over in very simple language right till 2050 it will not be over right as you can see all the energy outlook uh, across the world uh, you will see uh, that energy mix is changing hmm. for sure petrol uh, like at present we are using 40% of crude oil it will right. be less uh, to the 30 less or 25% years, right. but Uh, but also the energy demand will increase hmm. uh, the energy de- demand is ever increasing with developing countries and all that situation energy demand will always increase and you can also see that at present ev are not uh, you know economically viable and also there are some aspects like battery storage capacities and all yeah. that aspects i will not go into detail for right, that exactly. hmm. so that's are that is not uh, sustainable right now also hmm. uh, crude oil is n- not only used for transportation if we see uh, you can see around you at present time you will see every other object you see around you will right. have component which was uh, derived from crude oil derivative right. exactly and also uh, like uh, if we also shift to ev so hmm. where the electricity will come from right it also come from crude or co- coal or right. any other fossil fuel so it will stay for 20 30 years for sure as a petroleum engineer career it's a money minting right. uh, industry for right. sure like after 10 to f- uh, 12 years of experience you can earn money which you can't expect you know ki tum kis range tak pahunch sakte ho exactly. tum huh. soch bhi nahi sakte we are right. present in college or at uh, hmm. before doing your btech btech right but uh, money come with some hardness exactly okay so in petroleum industry it, uh, it is said jitna pass tum well ke pass hoge jitna tum hmm. pass field mein honge utna zyada paisa tum kamaoge right. so petroleum engineers are divided into three parts 
which is reservoir engineers which hmm. model the crude how, hmm. how how much crude is present how much we can recover from it second is drilling engineers which drill the well and third is production engineers which okay. lift the oil fr- uh, from the bottom of the well to the surface huh. so uh, if we see uh, the reservoir engineers are purely office job right. production engineers are 50-50 they hmm. are 50% of field and 50% of uh, you know uh, office, office desk work. job right. hmm. but uh, as a drilling engineer you will be 90 to 95 percent at field right. so it truly depends on your career progression how will your hmm. career pro- progress uh, if you choose to be a reservoir engineer or drilling or petroleum how right. much you know uh, you will be on desk or in field or how much you will earn and all that aspect will depend hmm. on that okay so any other specific point you would like to ask i can add on that but that's all no i think that's it matlab we just need a like surface level information so i think that was a great explanation yeah. so like uh, could you like also give us some insight about the major courses and electives that you studied uh, in this branch during your college okay during my batch uh, hmm. i mainly studied the technical uh, courses okay. uh, hmm. technical courses which were included and some were additional courses like uh, some was business analytics and financial hmm. courses was there uh, two or three financial courses were there right. but the scenario has changed in iit dhanbad after my batch uh, right. from my junior batch uh, it has been an open elective uh, method in hmm. which uh, each semester you are uh, given choice to you know uh, to select two or three electives right. and which are not only from technical point of view they are right. they have covered all the aspects uh, from uh, human resources to financial and all that you can even choose electives from other branches right uh, which i have heard uh, like if you are a petroleum engineer student you can also select uh, python programming right. or any yeah. other uh, aspect of electronics you can choose so that have changed a bit but uh, you know i haven't done that hmm. okay so like uh, that was great so like uh, moving on a bit and talking about internships and placement like could you share about your internship experience like what did you do and uh, on like okay. on a macro level like what was your job okay so as an intern i was interned at the same company hmm. k and oil and gas uh, and due to covid my internship was uh, purely remote work uh, right. work from home hmm. uh, and as a petroleum engineer the uh, i worked as a petroleum engineer as i mentioned uh, so there was uh, i have to model some create a model in excel uh, using macros and vba uh, which can predict the pressure in the well bore well, right. uh, hmm. i can't explain it uh, right, so much exactly, technically huh? here yeah. but uh, in simple form i hmm. created a dashboard and uh, different uh, models to right. predict the pressure in the well bore using excel and vba okay so like um, uh, what do you, do you want to say about the placements at your college presently and like what are the major companies that recruit from this branch and like what are the major roles that are being offered to the students who are pursuing petroleum engineering yeah sure uh, so uh, right uh, so in iit dhanbad mainly hmm. for petroleum students there are uh, three four companies from the petroleum background they hire the petroleum engineers uh like first is ongc second is kn third is lumberjay uh, hmm. fourth haliburton these are major companies and uh, reliance esa and many other sm- uh, small companies which came to campus for hiring petroleum right. engineers hmm. but beside uh, petroleum engineers it is not limited to petroleum engineering right. you can be hired in any of the software companies hmm. as a sd or you can also right. be hired as a product management role that's not the limitation there right uh, but uh, if we speak about particularly about petroleum mm. so you will be hired as an uh, trainee for the starting 6 mm. month in generally maximum companies and after that uh, you will be assigned a role uh, as i mentioned about the three branches of petroleum right. 
Hmm. After six months, you will be assigned a role in which uh, role you will be doing your work according your progress in that six months. Right. Okay. So I think like yeah, that was it about the internships and the placement. Like moving on and talking about non-academic stuff. So like, uh, yeah. what uh, do you think? Like, uh, do we have like uh, academic flexibility at IIT Dhanbad? I think like you mentioned something about it before. Like students are allowed to uh, choose electives from other branches as well, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, it, ha, it's not. Yeah, for sure. There's no limitation. Uh, right. For I think I don't know the exact rules because right, I started exactly. from a junior ha. batch. But uh, uh, what I remember is there are two electives per semester which you can choose from right. another branch or from the same branch you are working in. So it's not the limitation. And beside uh, academics, there are many clubs and which you can join and right. sp hmm. spend time in the evenings. Also, there are many societies like uh, right. there is one society. If you want to join the petroleum industry, there is a society named Society of Petroleum Engineers right. (SP). which hmm. is an international society. So you can join those societies and uh, learn about the, uh, you know, industry whenever right. you are in college itself. Right. So like, uh, what do like most of the students from this branch or like from your batch you have experienced, like what do they prefer? Like they usually go for like jobs or like higher studies in core or like people also like go for non-core branches? Okay, so that solely depends on the person, uh, individual. Right. Hmm. But uh, the scenario is changing from my batch or senior batch. Like petroleum industry, where uh, you know fluctuates with crude oil price. Right, exactly. If the crude oil price is high, so hmm. everyone will be hiring and hmm. everyone will be joining petroleum right. industry. As in uh, like in 2021 batch, uh, the crude price was at its all time low. Like. So many persons joined higher studies, MBAs, or they shifted to the non-core branches, product management or business analytics and many other courses. Hmm. For particularly my batch, um, majorly all the people joined petroleum. Some of them joined uh, as an SD, right. uh, which was placed at SCB, Standard hmm. Chartered, Misho right. and Flipkart and ah. all these companies. Also, some of them joined as a uh, BA and PM roles. Yeah, so exactly. it's not a, it's solely depends on the, on the interest current of the person, industry right. situation yeah. and interest of the person. Right, right. So like uh, moving on and talking about your own experience at IIT, like, so what was it like to attend IIT Dhanbad and like, um, what was your experience, overall experience, like being IITians and being an IIT and like studying in one of the most prestigious institute of the country? Okay. So, जो किसी भी कॉलेज में चले जाओ चार साल के बाद वो कॉलेज से तुम्हें मतलब ऐसा right. लेके निकलोगे ना कि ये ही मेरा जो था सारी लाइफ का ये exactly. बेस्ट चार हाँ. साल थे राइट right? right. कोई से भी कॉलेज में चले जाओ बट हाँ. स्पेशली अबाउट आईटी धनबाद व्हाट आई लाइक और ड्यू टू आईएसएम धनबाद व्हिच वाज बिफोर द इट कन्वर्टेड इनटू 2016 इज एलुमिनाय बेस and it's interaction with senior junior interactions right so after 4 years ek bahut acha relationship ban jata right. hai between Haan. seniors and juniors jo ki whole life uh, puri life kaam aata hai life, like right. at present uh, jis company mein main kaam kar raha hu at that field i have seniors from 2006 batch 2005 batch 2013 batch right. and they treat me like their little brother or like exactly. as Haan. a family Hmm. Uh, just because I'm from same college. Same college. So, ये बहुत अच्छा चीज है IIT धनबाद के बारे में. And right. secondly, कोई लिम, कुछ limitation नहीं है. आप कुछ जो करना college में right. आप कर सकते हो. Like, आपको time पूरा spend करना है कि मेरे को कुछ करना ही नहीं है. Free time की तरह हाँ, spend करना right. है. आपको pass होना है. सिर्फ वो भी कर सकते हो. आप तब right. भी आपका placement हो जाएगा. उसकी tension नहीं है. Right. Still, मतलब हाँ. अगर आप थोड़ा सा मेहनत कर लो attend. Also, you have various clubs, just may up time spent karke apne right. personality develop kar sakto. For particularly uh, talking about me, I joined SP, which was hmm. I mentioned, the Society of Petroleum, 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 Petroleum and uh, devoted my time towards it and organized many events and uh. passed out as a president of that society in college. So it depends on the person uh, where he. he his interest is or her interest is. Right, right. 
that was like really great knowing about your experience and like um, what's your take on like what uh, students should prefer like should be matlab ye kafi popular question rehta hai students ke beech mein like when they are joining the college ki matlab brand choose kare ya college choose kare to matlab what's your take on this ye bahut zyada optimize karna padta hai sabse zyada mushkil kaam hota hai mem par ki kya optimize exactly ha sabki conditions alag hoti hain like for me Hmm. I was कि नहीं मेरे को कॉलेज अच्छा लेना है कुछ भी right. हो जाए हाँ. कि ब्रांच मेरे को थोड़ा चलेगी बट स्टिल पेट्रोलियम वॉज अ गुड चॉइस बिकॉज आई रिसर्च ऑन इट फॉर ऑलमोस्ट वन एंड हाफ मंथ कि क्या क्या होता है लोगों से बात करके तो थोड़ा सा देखना पड़ता है यार कि कॉलेज भी अच्छा हो ब्रांच भी हाँ. अच्छी हो ऐसा नहीं होना चाहिए कि कॉलेज भी हमने खराब ले लिया उसमें ब्रांच भी हमने right. अपनी पसंद की नहीं ली right. या तो आपका पर्टिकुलर इंटरेस्ट है लाइक लोग भी बोलते हैं कि सीएससी में इंटरेस्ट है जिनका पहले से इंटरेस्ट था कि नहीं मेरे को मैकेनिकली लेके आना है किसी भी कॉलेज में जाऊंगा मैं बट मेरे को मैकेनिकली चाहिए तो ऐसा भी होता है तो वो चीज यार थोड़ा देखना पड़ता है जब भी कोई चीज सेलेक्ट करो उससे पहले मैं बोलूंगा अपने जो लोग उस पर्टिकुलर इंडस्ट्री में या उस पर्टिकुलर कॉलेज में लिंक्डइन एक बहुत अच्छी चीज है उस पर जाओ और उनसे बात कर लो कोई मना नहीं करेगा स्पेशली अगर वो बंदा कॉलेज में है तो कभी मना नहीं करेगा हो सकता है कि एक बार इंडस्ट्री में आके वो थोड़ा उसके पास टाइम ना हो बट कॉलेज वाले हमेशा हेल्प करते हैं राइट और तो यार क्या ही बोल सकते हैं कि वो चीज तो कभी किसी को नहीं बता सकते कि तुम्हें बस ये है कि जोसा या अगर तुम जेई मेंस के थ्रू जा रहे हो या एडवांस के थ्रू जा रहे हो तो जोसा के लास्ट ईयर की एक्सपेक्टेशंस देख के ही थोड़ा अपना रिसर्च हाँ, करना ऐसा ना हो कि आपकी रैंक पांच हजार और आप आई बॉम्बे सी एस की रिसर्च करो ऑब्वियसली नहीं मिलने वाला हाँ. आपको तो उस चीज में टाइम वेस्ट ना करके जो चीज आपको मिल सकता है उसके ऊपर थोड़ा टाइम स्पेंड करना हम्म एंड आई लाइक ये बात आपने बहुत अच्छा पॉइंट बोला कि लाइक like, के थ्रू सीनियर से पहले पूछ लेना चाहिए लाइक like, ज्वाइन करने से पहले एंड मतलब इनसाइड लेना चाहिए बिकॉज आई थिंक काफी बार लाइक दिस हैपेंस कि पीपल डोंट नो मच अबाउट अ ब्रांच और वो मतलब बिना लाइक राइट इन्फॉर्मेशन या राइट गाइडेंस के लेबल हो जाती है ब्रांच की ये अच्छी नहीं है या ये अच्छी है बट लाइक वेन यू रियली गो डीप कोई सा भी कॉलेज मिले कहीं पर भी जाओ मेहनत करनी है चार साल मेहनत करोगे तो पूरी लाइफ में कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं होगा हमेशा सक्सेस ही मिलने वाला है एज सच कॉलेज इनिशियल लेवल पे लगता है बहुत ज्यादा हमें डिपेंडेंट है कॉलेज के ऊपर या कॉलेज ही हमारे लिए सब कुछ है बट आफ्टर पर्टिकुलर टाइम इट्स योर एफर्ट्स जो तुम्हें सक्सेस मिलेगा ऐसा नहीं होने वाला कि कोई कॉलेज के नाम से तुम्हें कुछ सक्सेस मिलेगा राइट So I think that was like really great talking with you and learning to know about your experience. I think that's it, and I'll just stop.